Welcome to another edition of Carol's Kitchen GT The Show. Today, we are going to be making MetMG. Now, the reason for the making the MetMG, uh, a few weeks ago, I was a little idle and, and I asked you guys, what would you like to see me cooking? And at least three to four persons said MetMG. Um, however, I did not get the numbers I was looking for because I was supposed to invite one of you guys here to taste it. But it was a last minute thing and so I decided to make MetMG today. So um, before we go further, I'd like to thank my main sponsors, Sterling Products, with Igloo Ice Cream, Yogurt Yogurt. They have a whole line of those really, really delicious yogurts. Yogurt is very good for you. It gives you probiotics to your body. Um, it's good for your digestion. It, it's a nice snack as well, very delicious. And also Golden Cream Margarine, which I'll be using again today with my MetMG. So I have some eggs boiling because I like to add a, an egg to the side. I have some young okras steaming as well because I like to put that at the top. And I also will be frying some bangamiri as a side for the MetMG. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Friendship is the one thing I could never live without. How long has it been? 15 years? 16 years, girl. We have been friends ever since that day you appeared out of nowhere with my favorite. The good old days. So much has changed. Well, not everything. Igloo ice cream is still our number one comfort food. Igloo ice cream. Igloo ice cream. Igloo ice creams. Making moments a magical memory. So I've gone ahead and peeled my provision. So Medici, basically, if you didn't know what Medici is, if you're not Guyanese and you're watching this show, it's basically uh, predominantly uh, ground provisions. So I have here green and ripe plantains, edos, cassava, sweet potatoes, and um, yeah, that's it. And for the seasoning, I went ahead and I cut up some tomatoes, onions, shallots, and I have one weary -re pepper because I don't want to make it too hot. I also have the steamed okra set and ready and waiting. And of course, you can't have, well, this is just me again. I like to have my um, metaji with a bit of duff or dumplings. So this is the mixture for that. Of course, I used made Marion. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of golden cream margarine again in my pot. Just to melt it down a bit. Because it's margarine, it kind of burns quickly and this pot is very, very hot. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the seasoning that I told you about. I did go ahead and add some garlic in here as well. I forgot to mention that to you guys. Then you, what we call again, chunky the uh, provision. So I'm just gonna make sure I give this a good stir. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk that I have. You don't wanna put, put too much coconut milk and you don't wanna put too little as well. 
The reason for that is because if you remember you want it to, you want the sauce of the metamji to have a certain consistency. Um, not too thick, not too thin, just right. So if you put too much liquid, then the provision will just mash up. I'm just adding a bit of black pepper here. So I'm just adding a bit of cube as well to give the provision and the entire meal a just, just an added bit of flavor. So I have some bangamiri here already seasoned. It was marinating for like two hours now. So this should be really good. This is what is gonna go along with the metamji when it's done, it's gonna go on top. Of course, you know now you have to uh, flour the fish before you fry it. If not, it's gonna loose up in the pan. So I'm using the Milko flour again, which is the Maid Marion brand. It's a more expensive brand than Thunderbolt, but this is what I had on hand. But you can definitely use any flour you'd like, whether it's Thunderbolt or Maid Marion. So this is the finished product in the pot. Um, we didn't film the duff or dumpling because we had to cover the pot, you wouldn't see it anyways. Because what usually happens, how I make my dumpling, I like them soft and fluffy. So as long as you put them in the boiling liquid and they float up to the top, then you take them out right away. If you don't do that, then they drop. Like how cake drops or any, any other thing. And so that's how, that's my method. That's how they say, stay fluffy. One time I was in St. Vincent, um, they call it oil down. We in Ghana here call it, call it metanji, but it's the same process. So I'm putting a bit of everything. So I have a bit of um, ripe plantains and all the other good stuff here. All the provision that I would have put in. And then we'll move to the cupboard. So, like I said before, I like to put eggs. If you don't, you don't have to, but I feel like if, when you eat the egg and when you eat all the provision and then you just soak the eggs inside this sauce here, it's out of this world. And then this is the, the dumpling that I made. And I'll cut it and show you what it looks like inside. So how soft it is, very soft. Let me just show you. Here you go. And then, like I said, I have some okros to put as well. So I'll put two at the side here or on top. And then we have the fried fish as well. We'll put this on the side. And that's it. That's my version of Metaji. It's here! Igloo Ice Cream Fruit Bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% .99 of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? So we've come to the end of another edition of Carl's Kitchen GT The Show. Today I made Metam G because I asked you guys and a couple of you said you wanted to see me make Madam G. So this is what I did. Um, I've gone ahead and plated it. We have the okros, we have the fried fish. I put boiled eggs as well. And um, I'm sure it's delicious. Before we go, I'd just like to thank our sponsors, Sterling Products, with Igloo Ice Cream and of course, 
uh, golden cream margarine, which I used in the dish. And I encourage you to buy local, shop local. When you go to the grocery, pick up local stuff. It doesn't have to necessarily be sterling products as long as it's local. Buy local. See you next week.